Can you just give us your initial thoughts on the game? A few. <laughs> I think uh, far from our best today. Uh, far from our best, but a big, big three points. Um, you know, we've had a long journey on Saturday and, and, and we're well worth the point up at Halifax. P possibly felt we deserved more. Um, but to back it up with, a, with three points at home here against a, a Torquay side who were, were going for our second half um, is a big three points for us. Obviously being 3-0 up at half-time, that sort of spell in the middle of the first half, we scored three. How big was that towards the result today? Oh, it's huge, obviously, because uh, you know we didn't play well. Uh, I think, I think, um, I think that the, the the heavy pitches, the long journey, took its toll on the lads today, and, and it was it was it was it was a bit of a tired performance. But um, we had a good ten minutes in the first half, and we got we got the three goals. Um, but then obviously come out uh, and, uh, at the start of the second half, and they, they got us with two quick fire goals. Which, uh, to, the, to the lads' credit, you know, after, from that point onwards, we, we we did manage to keep our discipline, keep our shape, and, and restricted the the opportunities that they did create. So, um, you know, it, it's disappointing that the, the start of the second half. We wanted to perform better, but we've got the three points. Obviously, you said you felt like you didn't play very well today. How big is it that you can still not play well but score three goals and win? Yeah, massive. Of course, it is. Any three points is massive. Um, we, you know, I'm not saying we, we play poorly, but it, I think we, we've set high standards for ourselves, and, and we know that we can play very well. We know we're a good passing side. Uh, today, we couldn't really get that going. Um, maybe we give credit to the opposition for that. But uh, as I say, I think it was a big, big three points, and, and it was a big moment in the game. When, you know, midway through the first half, when we got that, that clutch of goals, um, and, and the lads showed a lot of character in the second half because there was a lot of tired bodies out there. And obviously, we've got. Two players in Scott Randall and Danny Hollands who are both firing on all cylinders as of late. How big is it to have two, not one, but being able to rely on two players to get the goals for the team? Yeah, it's massive. You know, last year we were we were heavily reliant on one player, and this year I think we shared it around a lot. But the Dutchy and Wrens of late, you know, have, have, have really stepped up to the mark and and taken on the mantle and, and you know different types of finishes as well. You know, today it was Dutchy's with his right foot, a fantastic finish. Um, Renz has got himself another penalty, uh, but his all-round games, you know, doing doing really good good things for the team. So um, you know, the, the goals are, as, as we'll always say, that they're, they're team goals. You know, the players don't score the goals on their own. So uh, so you know, credit to the to the to the players, but credit to to the whole squad. And obviously, conceding two goals right at the start of the second half is massive body blow for the team. How, as you guys, as managers on the sideline and coaching staff on the sideline, how do you sort of cheer the players up and keep them sort of concentrated? Yeah, it was difficult. I mean, in, in truth, I think it was two goals in what three minutes, maybe. Um, it was it was a difficult start to the half for us, but you know it's important that we stay calm, and, and it's important that we stay calm on the sidelines and try and get that onto the pitch as well. And, and to the players' credit, they did. I think they uh, they, they weathered the storm and uh, and restricted them in the end, to be honest. Because once we got the, the second goal, winning, you were expecting a, a bit of an onslaught, and it didn't really come. Um, we didn't have much of the ball, but we kept them in front of us a lot. And, and I think defensively, the whole team um, performed well today. And obviously, Raider came off half, towards the end of the first half. Was that precautionary ahead of Saturday? Yeah, Raider's played. He's obviously been out for a period of time. Uh, he's come back and played a couple of games in a short succession. And, and tonight was, you know, with, the, with the long journey on Saturday and the heavy pitches, was probably not ideal for him to play. But with Boise's suspension, um, it was a little bit forced upon us. But uh, I think he's tight. He's a little bit sore. Um, but we're hopefully that he, hopefully he's come off in time. And obviously, with Crew on Saturday, how big is today's victory and to carry on this impressive run of form? As you say, it's an impressive run of form. You know, tonight we've um, we've got through the game with uh, hopefully just just Raider is, is a little bit of a concern, but um, hopefully not too many other injuries because that, that's been a bit of a problem for us. Um, but now we make sure we go forwards and, and we prepare properly for Saturday. And, and tonight was 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 good to keep the run going. Uh, and, you know, even more so for the league because I think that pushes us up a couple of places. And uh, and we've got to make sure that, that we we don't take our focus off that as well.